Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Got something kind of cool to show you folks today, kind of of a niche product, I believe, but it's something pretty neat. So this is from Blue Eddy. This is a backpack from Blue Eddy. This is a 512 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Look how thin that thing is. So obviously, guys, you probably have seen some of these videos already, but this is paired with the backpack. There's a spot in this backpack that this slides in the back. And I really think that Blue Eddy is gearing this more toward, and I hate to say this, content creators, YouTube people, I don't know. But people that actually go out and go camping, do the, these overlanding events that have a lot of camera gear, a lot of drones, a lot of microphones, a lot of lights they have to keep charged up. And most of those use DC power to charge up the battery. That's where this guy comes in perfect. And to team it up with your camera backpack that fits in behind it, really does make it pretty user friendly to keep everything all in one place. And there's even a spot to put your clothes in the front. And we'll, we'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit, but it's a very unique product. I don't know, it, I, I obviously don't think it is for everyone. I'm not gonna say that, but as of right now, the price on this, this is the big hands-free two. They have a, a smaller hands-free one with a smaller power station and a smaller 45 liter backpack. I believe this is a 62 liter backpack, but they have the, the smaller hands-free one. But the hands-free 2 right now, guys, is going for 399 bucks. That's a lot of money. There are power stations in the 500 watt hour lithium iron phosphate range that are more than 400 bucks. There are some decent camera backpacks that are around 250 to 300 bucks. So two of these together for $399 is really not bad. And the hands-free one kit is even at a better price at 299, I believe. That's introductory pricing. It's gonna go up here probably in the next couple of months. But for right now, I think for, for the price, $399 for, for this and the backpack is a very good deal. I, you know, again, this is a very niche, very targeted audience, I think, that they're going after with these products. But I've had this for a couple of weeks, just trying to figure out how I would use it. I'm gonna use it on my main channel with all my camera gear, cause I take a bunch of stuff with me. And I actually kinda like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, let, let's, let's move into the backpack first, because frankly, I'm more impressed with the backpack than I am the power station because I, I've got a lot of camera backpacks. Uh, you will probably notice I did go ahead and take off. It's got 25,000 zipper pulls all over, but I took them off and just replaced them with some uh, neon yellow paracord with some zip, with some pulls on them because I couldn't. I had a hard time finding all the zippers because there's so many of them, and I like the blue and yellow color combination better anyway. So that this might look a little different than, than other people's that you've seen. And that's why I, I just took them off myself. But again, I think it's around a 62 or 65 liter backpack. Very, pretty large backpack, okay? Um, you've got your padded waist straps that go around your, your waist when you have this thing loaded down because it will get heavy. You add that plus other camera gear. It's gonna, it's gonna end up weighing a lot. Guys, I gotta say for an actual, just a backpack, this is a really, I'm impressed with the backpack. It's got weather sealing all around every single zipper. It's not fully 100% waterproof, but having that, that, that rubber gasket really helps in terms of keeping some of the water out. You've got this front pocket. This is where I just keep all of the cords that came with the hands, with the, with the battery over there. Just for right now, I'm sure it'll find a different home. Um, lift up these buckles. You got a strap and another little flap in here. Close that up. You do have some Molly type loops here that I use all the time to put my flashlights in with the clip. So I'll put my flashlights in there. You got more buckles here on the front with another large front pocket with a whole lot of little pin pockets and just smaller little, little individual size pockets inside this big pocket. So tons of, of stuff, ton, tons of places to keep things, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. And then if I can get this on camera, I'm gonna lay it down flat and open up this front compartment. And this is going to be kind of where you put your clothes. So it's got this luggage kind of tie down strap if you wanna put all your clothes. You've got zippered pockets on the back, zippered pockets here on the front. And this might not look like a lot because it's kind of thin. This thing expands. So you've got another zipper, hence why I had to kind of put these zipper pulls because it's hard, they're hard to find all of them. Open this thing up and this thing expands almost four more inches. So you get a lot of room now in here to put some jeans, sweatshirts, underwear, socks, whatever. I don't know what you guys take, but it's actually now usable to store clothes. So you can put that on top. 
And then I just, I put orange zipper pulls for the camera compartment so I can quickly realize if I'm just trying to get my camera equipment at night, which one that is. But we'll undo the camera part, I guess is the best way to put it. And this is a very large camera backpack. I carry two cameras, a GoPro, a drone, microphones, lights, all that good stuff. And when I was testing out what I had in my backpack to see what, what would all fit in this, it all fit and I had one or two extra spots to kind of throw some more junk. I won't have a hard time finding, finding a use for that, but these are all interchangeable. You can move them around, they're Velcro. Just a really padded, of course. Uh, one of the kind of problems I do see, and someone else noted this in one of their reviews, is that there's no pass-through, no way to, to actually plug in when you have the power station behind your backpack to run the power cord into this compartment to charge while you're on the go. You kind of have to have the wires out of the backpack and kind of zip up the wires over the cord. I don't like that. If they would have put some kind of pass-through cord, pass-through port in here to charge the batteries, that would have been perfect. Here on this side, you got a nice spot where you can put a laptop, very padded. Wouldn't worry at all about putting my expensive laptop in there. But that's where you're gonna keep all your camera equipment. And it even has a, I mean, it's, I think it's kind of of a gimmick to be honest, but it does have a little lock if you wanna put on your camera part. You can put your zipper pulls in here and lock it if you want. But the very last zipper is where you're going to put this power station. So it's got, this is really hard to get on camera, but I'm just gonna kind of slide it in here. Just like so. And Blue Eddie even thought about putting this Velcro flap that's gonna go over the power station. So now you still have more room up top to put more stuff on top of the power station, which is pretty cool. So the way this thing works is you zip that top part up. Here on the side, yet more zippers. It's got um, breathable type material. This is a rubber, rubber type material with holes going through to allow ventilation. But if rain falls down it, it's not gonna go down and up into the holes. That's why, so it's a pretty good design. But you can unzip this thing and fold it open and get to your power station, okay? That's kind of far away. But we'll, we'll take a closer look at the power station, but this is where you would unzip it and plug in your cords to charge whatever. And here's where I wish that, you know, Blue Eddie would have put some type of pass-through port to go from here directly into the camera compartment. They didn't, but that's okay. You would just have to run a cord out of here, kind of zip up, you know, around that cord and then put the cord somewhere in the, in the camera compartment, I guess. But that's that side. Same thing for this side too. This does have a 700 watt <laughs> inverter, actually, pure sign inverter on it. So if you do want to run some type of AC appliance, you can open up this side and access that one AC output uh, right there or plug in your charger, your AC charger, if you're gonna be charging this from, from the grid, plug it in right there and charge the power station inside the backpack. All kinds of D-rings on the, on the straps. It is very heavy once I had everything loaded. It probably weighed 45 pounds and these pads and the back of the padding actually made it bearable. I would not want to go hiking with it. I think that's, that would be silly to do with this setup. I don't think it's made for actual hiking around the mountains and, and doing some long trail hikes. That, that No, don't do it with this, that's too heavy. But the actual padding on the backpack is, is, is enough to where it's, it's pretty comfortable. And you've got these really thickly padded waist straps. It does have on this one, a rain fly built into it. So you can pull this thing out and cover the whole backpack if you are out and it starts to rain. But I guess what I'm getting at guys is when, when Blue Eddie told me they had this and they, they were gonna send the channel this thing, I immediately kind of assumed it was gonna be a, a chintzy, cheesy backpack. Um, we'll get to the power station here in a second, but the backpack itself, guys, is, a, is actually a really, it's a really nice backpack. It kind of exceeded my expectations when they were telling me about this thing. I kind of thought it was just a weird idea, but now that I've had it here at the house, I've kind of tinkered with it, I'm trying to think of how I would use it, I think it definitely is gonna have its purpose. Again, very specific purpose, but it's a pretty neat little idea. So let me get 
this power station out. And we'll go over that really quick. because I want to get this video out because right now the price is really good for this thing. And if you guys are at all interested, again, for $399, if you just need a 500 watt, 512 watt hour power station, it's not a bad deal. You cannot buy this separately. So the $399 is going to come with the backpack anyway. Right now, Blue Eddy is not selling this separately. But here is the actual power station. Not too bad. 20 amp hours, 512 watt hours. You've got a 700 watt pure sign inverter on the back. Let's get in closer. So similar to all Blue Eddies, it's got the same Blue Eddy screen. You press and hold that middle power button, turn everything on. It is fully charged. If you want to charge something up with DC, you hit the DC. If you want to turn the AC inverter on, hit that AC button. I've got everything turned on now. Kind of of a miss, again, on Blue Eddy's part. This, since this mainly is a what I would consider a DC charging device, Give me more ports, give me more USB-Cs, get rid of these USB-As. I do actually use USB-A outputs for some of my really low power devices that can't take a whole lot of power. I like one of them, but I wish they would have given me more USB-Cs. That way I can charge my camera, my phone, my laptop, my drone batteries, my microphones all at once. But just having two 100 watt output USB-Cs kind of limits it. Um, I think they could have put more USB ports on this, but you get two USB 100 watts and two USB A 15 watt output ports here on the front. Then you've got your XT60 input here for your solar panels. This will take up to 350 watts, so up, or 12 volt to 45 volt. So this should take pretty much any any 200 watt uh, solar panel that you guys have around. You're not going to be taking much more than that on a camping trip anyway. I don't think you're not going to be having a big array. So pretty much any single 100 200 watt solar panel is going to fall within this range to be able to charge this power station up with, with without any problems. Uh, your vents are on the front, so when you do have this in the backpack, the, the back and the front, it's not being, you know, it, it's, it's able to suck in air. So you got the vents here on the front, and then you got your vents here on the back. And then on the back, you've got your one AC output. They can output up to 700 watts of pure sign, so you can hook up a laptop and TV sensitive type electronics to it, it'll do just fine. And then again, this is where you're going to plug it in if you're going to charge it up from the grid. And you do have little rubber feet here on the bottom. So you can like, you know, even if you don't want to use this in a backpack, you can lay this flat, put stuff on top of it. Let me get it this way. Lay this in the back of your uh, truck or car on the seat. It's not going to take up a lot of, of space height wise. And then you can put stuff on top of this, your backpack, your duffel bag, you know, whatever you want, because all the vents are not being blocked. Totally cool to lay this down flat like this. But again, this was made for to put in that backpack. And I'm gonna say it again, for the price of $399 right now, you'd be hard pressed to find just a decent power station, I think, for 512 watt hours that outputs 700 watts of pure sign uh, energy out of the AC output. That, that's fairly hard to find. Of course, you can find some no-name brand China ones for, for cheaper than that, but EcoFlow, Blue Eddy, uh, Jackery, they're all going to be uh, around that $400 range just for this size of power station. And you're getting that really nice backpack for it too. So, But I do think it's a, uh, it's a pretty slick little setup here. So gang, I didn't want to bore you with the whole technical teardown of this power station. There's going to be a million and one videos of that out there. I just wanted to show you folks kind of what this thing is, what, what I think about it. Um, I think it's a pretty cool setup. I think it, it's more geared again toward YouTube people, content creators, professional Instagrammers, whatever you want to call them, because we do carry a lot of camera gear and we're always needing to charge batteries. I don't think this is for someone that just wanting to go out camping for the weekend with their with their buddy. I don't I don't think it's for that. And it's a Blue Eddy power station. They make great, great power stations. They're really the only ones that I use now. And that's by choice, uh, not not by any other means, but I, I do believe in Blue Eddy power stations. I think they're the best personally. We can agree to disagree on that all day long, but this is just what I've been using for about the past year and they work great. And for the price, I just think, at least right now for this introductory price, I think it's kind of hard to beat. We could use some more DC outputs. And the last obvious flaw on this power station is there is no 12 volt outputs. That's a biggie. Um, if you're uh, going to use this to plan on running like a refrigerator or a heated blanket or whatever, there's no 12 volt output on this. I did order a USB-C power delivery to 12 volt socket, and I'm going to see if that works. I, it hasn't gotten here yet, so I don't know if it will, but um, it claims up to 65 watts off of that adapter, and that should be enough to run my uh, 12 volt fridge. So we'll see if I can plug that into this, and I'm going to be using this on my next trip, and I'll let you guys know if it works or not. Uh, using that adapter from this USB-C 100 watt output 
to keep my fridge running. But that is a big omission on this power station. There's no 12 volt outputs. You don't have any barrel outputs. You don't have your 12 volt cigarette style output. You don't have anything. You just have the USB A's. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't get this thinking it's gonna run a fridge straight out of the box as it is right now. I'm gonna test it to see if my adapter works and let you folks know, but right now, no 12 volt outputs, only USBs and the AC in the back. But minus those few little gripes, I think this is a great deal for the price. I have no idea what it's gonna be in a month or two, but guys, check it out. Um, I will have a 5% discount on the Blue Eddy Amazon store for this model and anything Blue Eddy for that matter, if you get it off of Amazon. So check out the description and the link down below. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you soon. I'll be using this next week on my main channel if you wanna kind of watch the blunders and see how how this works out on my on my main channel on my camping episodes. So so gang until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.